this is Marty from Run Street. We have a special guest today, Cindy Kuzma. She's a writer, author, and runner, and she recently wrote a book on injuries. So this is something that can be useful for all of us runners. So thanks for being here today, Cindy. Oh, Marty, thank you so much for having me, and thank you for being here in Chicago. I'm so excited to welcome you to the Chicago Lakefront, where I've run uh, many miles over the years. So. so, Cindy, I know your book is about injury and how runners can cope also mentally. Um, it's a very interesting topic because I think that's something that affects us all a lot mentally. Um, so how did you think of the idea for the book? Sure. Well, um, the nice thing about it too is it's for runners and also all athletes because um, most athletes get injured at some point. I got the idea because I've been injured many times myself and I've written a lot about injury and I would interviewed a number of times a woman named Carrie Jackson Cheadle who's a mental skills coach who works with athletes who are injured. So she and I actually started talking about the idea together and we realized that um, injuries, in addition to being physical, um, in addition to being physically difficult, there's also a significant psychological and mental component that goes along with that. And we knew that there weren't a lot of resources out there for athletes who were going through this. So we kind of started talking together a couple of years ago about the idea of writing a book for injured athletes. And um, yeah, we decided to, to go ahead and do it. And the book is called Rebound and it'll be out this fall. So Cindy, what's your personal experience with injury? Well, I have been running for about 20 years and uh, statistics show that something like 75% of runners get hurt every year and I feel like I've had my fair share. I've had four stress fractures, I've had Achilles tendinopathy, I've had high hamstring tendinopathy. Uh, pretty much the only thing I haven't had is like a tendon tear in my knee, so I'm knock on wood that that hasn't <laughs> happened yet. But um, I, you know, have dealt with it a lot of times and every time it is um, a difficult experience, but I learned something new and I come back a stronger athlete. And I knew that was possible and so that's why I was so excited to work with Carrie on this book because um, there really are ways, both physically and mentally, that you can work uh, to come back stronger, to rebound um, during the injury process and that's kind of what we lay out. And we've all dealt with these different sorts of injuries as runners and as athletes. Um, what are some of the psychological effects that the athlete feels when they're injured? Yeah, there are a lot of really big mental effects of injury. And a couple that we see in the research and also in our experience is this loss of identity. You know, you think of yourself as a runner and then suddenly you're unable to run. Who are you? Uh, that is a big one that affects a lot of people. And then there's isolation too. Um, a lot of times as runners, as athletes, our community is built around running and when we're unable to participate, even for a short period of time, we can feel really alone and like we don't have the support that we need. Um, definitely we can start to feel anxiety and depression and stress too. And these are a problem not only because they are uncomfortable and painful, they can also really impact our healing process physically too. So all of these things are things that athletes experience when they're injured, but there are ways that we can work to combat all of them. And so that's the good news. Okay. I know I've definitely struggled with some of those things with injury too, getting isolated, depressed, and um, feeling like you're not accomplishing things. Cause I feel like your run is something you always can check off. Like, oh, I got that done. Um, so what are some things that runners could do to start to feel better when they're dealing with injuries? Sure. I mean, one of the first things is just acknowledging your disappointment and kind of validating it. I mean, saying out loud that you're upset and that it's okay to be upset and understandable. Sometimes just acknowledging that feeling, you start to feel like a huge burden is lifted. Um, from there, uh, you can do a lot. Remind yourself you are an athlete still. Even when you're injured, you're a runner, you're an athlete. That doesn't stop just because you are temporarily or even permanently unable to do it. Um, there's always something you can do and whether that is uh, strength training, whether that's your rehab exercises, whether that's watching motivational movies, there are always other ways to strengthen yourself as an athlete and as a person. And if you start to make recovery your sport, um, that really can feed into your re claiming and um, hanging on to your athletic identity even when you're injured. Um, also really important to ask for support in a lot of different ways. I mean, when we draw away from our community as runners, that's when things can start to get really dark really quickly. Um, so whether it's reconnecting with your training partners, asking them to have coffee with you instead, you know, you, if you can't go for a group run, do your bike ride at the gym at the same time your running group is running, meet people for breakfast or coffee afterward. Um, reconnect with some other people in your life that you might not have time to see when you're running a lot or training hard. 
uh, really think consciously about how to have those social interactions and ask for the specific types of support that you need, whether those uh, that support, psychologically speaking, are like actual help doing things because of your injury. Um, you know, it's sometimes we think that if we ask for help, we're seen as weak, but really the strongest athletes know that uh, you have to get that support, especially when you're injured, to come back stronger. So those are some ways that you can start to deal with those negative emotions. That's great. I like that. Make recovery your sport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a huge thing. I mean, there's, you know, uh, the athletes who are the best at this, they can actually start to see injury as an opportunity. Um, I mean, no one wants to be injured. But if you can look at it, okay, well, this is happening. I don't like it. I prefer it's not happening. But what can I do to make the most of it? How can I come back stronger physically and psychologically? Um, you can really get to the point where you see it as a, a turning point in your athletic career sometimes. That's great. So you and your co-author started the Injured Athletes Club. What is that about? We did. It's a Facebook group and a podcast, but the Facebook group I think is the big thing because as we've talked about, one of the hardest things about injury is that you feel isolated, you feel alone, and you feel like no one really understands what you're going through. Um, but the truth is so many athletes get injured and there are other people there who understand what you're going through. And so we created this Facebook group where injured athletes of all types can join and really just have um, some support, some solidarity, people to celebrate those small victories. Every Wednesday we have Winning Wednesday. So whatever your victory is for the week, whether that's you were able to run again after months of not being able to run, whether that's you had surgery and today you could tie your shoe or you could walk an extra inch. Um, we really celebrating the small victories, supporting each other, and um, I mean, commiserating too, and talking about the things that are difficult, but having that uh, sense of positivity and that sense that this is difficult, but I will get through this. Um, we, we're trying to create a space where people can find that. And so, yeah, we'd love for you to join us. Just search us on Facebook, uh, the Injured Athletes Club, and you'll find it. And um, I have been in it when I'm injured and when I'm not, and I actually find it useful both times because to give that to support to other people, when you're not in that position actually feels really good too. And it, it kind of reminds you and keeps you a little humble because I think sometimes when you are not injured, you forget that you ever can be injured. Um, but, but it's a risk for all of us. And I think uh, staying connected to that community in some ways will helps you feel like a more complete, kind person and athlete and also um, helps make it less devastating if injury does happen to you. That's such a great idea. So what are your top three tips for injured runners? Uh, my top three tips for injured runners, the first one is to uh, feel upset for a little while. And maybe that sounds surprising, but I think sometimes when we don't feel our feelings, when we try to bury them, when we think, oh yeah, it's just a running injury, so many people have it so much worse, um, that actually keeps us dwelling on it for longer and holds us back and doesn't allow us to move on to that place of recovery and healing. So first of all, know that injuries suck and you have a right to be upset and eat some ice cream and feel sad. But don't stay there. Uh, tip number two is put a time limit on that wallowing or that uh, you know feeling sorry for yourself and then start to set new goals. Make recovery your sport. Think about what you can do when you can't run to make yourself a stronger athlete and a stronger person. And then my third top tip is really to seek the support that you need, to try not to isolate yourself, to be, um, to connect either with your running partners or your running friends in a different way or to reconnect with other people in your life because that social support is really what's going to help get you through what things are difficult. Awesome. And where can people find out more about your book and find out about you? Sure. Well, uh, Carrie Jackson Cheadle and I, my co-author, we have a website, InjuredAthletesClub.com. There you can find a link to the Facebook group. You can find a link to pre-order the book on Amazon. The book is called Rebound. Um, you can also find a link to our podcast, which is also called The Injured Athletes Club, and links to all of our social media accounts um, and our personal websites and social media accounts, too. So uh, that's a good one-stop shopping for learning more about all the work that we're doing. Awesome. Okay, so the book comes out in October, but you can pre-order now on Amazon. And I want to thank Cindy for coming out today. She is really busy and an awesome writer and athlete, so we're glad that she came. Oh, Marnie, I was so glad to see you. So glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. It was a joy and a privilege.